Mm -hmm. Hi guys, this video demonstrates the keystone flap for a forehead defect. This is a post malignancy excision defect and as you can see the defect is quite large for the region. The frontalis is lost, the superficial or the frontal branch of the superficial temporal artery is gone and we can plan either a transposition flap or a rotation flap either based superiorly towards the scalp or the base towards the eyebrows either or of which is going to cause distortion of the hairline or distortion of the eyebrows. You can also plan a temporoparietal facial flap with a skin graft, but uh, this I believe is a better option. We have planned a keystone flap. The hairline is marked. The frontal branch of the superficial temporal is also marked, which is excised during the excision of the defect. And now we will see the operative procedure. Flap harvest is initiated with a fine tip Colorado tip pottery with low settings. Here we have planned the keystone flap in a way that the width of the flap is just slightly more than the dimensions of the defect because that was the only place or the only space was there for the planning of the flap. And we are planning to close the keystone flap in a Pac-Man closure. Flaps in these particular areas are always harvested in a subgalial plane. So we are going to follow that. When the subcutaneous tissue is being incised, especially in this particular area, right now we are going to encounter the parietal branch of the superficial temporal artery. So dissection in this particular area needs to be very careful. As you can see right now, the parietal branch is coming into the picture. We want to safeguard it. We don't want to damage it. So due care is taken. Flap is circumferentially incised from all sides and especially posteriorly in this particular region, at least the skin and the subcutaneous tissue needs to be dissected so that adequate advancement is achieved. I don't know, can this keystone flap be called as an axial keystone flap because there is axial vessel. There is the frontal branch of the superficial temporal which is going inside the flap and which is transacted distally of course during excision. Now, the flap is harvested in the subgalial plane. As you can see, it is a smooth plane without any blood loss, plane of the loose areolar tissue and we are harvesting almost as you can see 70 to 80 percent of the flap because it has got the frontal branch of the superficial temporal artery in it. So this is going to be a very very robust flap. It has got such a large vessel in it. So once the flap dissection is complete from all ends, we are going to suture it in a Pac-Man type of a closure. Now keystones can be closed in multiple ways but this is the way we are going to close it. After this key suture is taken, the next suturing is very critical in a way to avoid distortion of the hairline. So we have already marked the hairline and accordingly we are taking sutures so that the hairline is not distorted. So considering the age of the patient, the laxity which is on our side, suturing is tension free and is going to be very easy. Again, we have to take due care that the anatomical landmarks, the eyelid, eyebrow is not significantly distorted. As you saw initially, there was loss of frontalis. So the frontalis action is going to be lost in this patient. We will appreciate that in the post-op images as well. This is the particular way in which a keystone flap is always closed. The donor site is closed in a linear fashion, partly. And then we do differential suturing to give tension and relaxation at appropriate places. So this is the result outcome on table. And these are the post-op outcomes showing the defect, the planning, the on table outcome and the late post-op results from a lateral view, which shows a good hairline, a non-distorted hairline. So this image again shows a lateral view and oblique view of well-settled flap. 
and the third image shows the eyebrow position is low because of loss of frontalis action. So I believe this keystone flap is a very good option for these type of defects. Thank you.